Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss another variation in the container question that can come in the exam. So in this case, you will not be required to pull the image and then create a container, but you will be required to build up a container. Let's suppose the name is Watcher as the user Baljeet from a container file. Now this container file can be provided on the address or it might be already there on the system. So that will be clear from the question. And the rest of the part will remain the same. Once you build up the image from the container file, then you need to run the container, then map it onto uh, the directory and then finally run it as a service. So the second part and the third part will remain the same. The first part will differ wherein you need to use the container file to build up the container first. Okay. Now let us see how we can do that. The first step will be you need to create the user if it is not there. So I already have this user account. So you can add the user and then give it the password. Then you will SSH into the user account. Now, once you are into the user account, so you can use the wget command and then type in whatever IP address is given in the question to get to the container file. The container file will be downloaded into your system. But now you don't have that container file. So for practice, what you can do is you can build up your own container file. So I'll tell you how to do that. So what you need to do is you need to create a directory named container file. So mkdir, then container file. Okay. Create this directory. Then I already have this directory, so I'll not create it again. You cd into that. And then you create a file named container file with C as the capital letter. Okay. So C should be in uppercase rest all in lowercase. So create this file using the touch command and then open it with an editor and type the following content. I'll also provide this content in the description so that you can copy paste. Otherwise, this is what you need to type into the file. Okay. So save the file and exit. So your container file will be ready for your practice. So this is uh, related to the HTTPD service. Now, once you have the container file, then rest of the steps will remain the same. So you will use podman run hyphen D hyphen hyphen name, give it the name watcher, then minus V. And then you need to create those files or directories that you want to map. Okay. So let us do that first. So since they were to be created in slash data, slash input. So data is in the root directory. So I can't do this with this Balji, the regular user. So I need to exit. So you can create this before doing SSH into Balji. So mkdir slash data, and then mkdir slash data slash input. Right. So we can SSH again with, so we need to change the owner to Baljeet, Baljeet for slash data slash input. Now SSH. So once we have created the directories, we now first need to build up the container. So you'll write podman build hyphen T and then the name that was watcher and then dot. All right. So there's error because I am not, there's no container file here because I created the container file in the container hyphen file directory. So I need to get into that. The container file is here. Now I need to run podman build. All right. Successfully created. How we can check podman images. So you can see here very first entry watcher. This is the local host. So this will tell you that this is a locally created image using the podman build command. Okay. Now we will use this image to create the container. So you will write podman 
run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name watcher minus v data input mapped on to data input on the container and then the name of the image which is again watcher all right so the container is created podman ps so we can see in the end the last entry all right so we have the container created rest of the steps will be same as in the previous video we need to move into we need to create the directory mkdir within the home dot config slash system d this is for running the container as a service slash user so in my case this directory is already there so you need to first create this directory and then cd into that okay make sure you move into that directory then you write podman generate system d hyphen hyphen name the name was watcher hyphen hyphen files hyphen hyphen new all right so you can do ls and you can see that the service is created container watcher dot service now use system ctl hyphen hyphen user daemon reload then you can start the service start container watcher dot service then you can enable it and finally check the status whether it is running or not right so the service is created and is active and running so that's all you need to do if they ask you to build up the container from the container file remember here you will not use the podman pull command but you will use podman build and build up the container from the locally available container file or you need to w get that from the address that is given okay make sure you create the container file for the practice write the content i have as i have shown you in the video or you can refer the description part also for the content of the container file so that's all for the video see you next time